Message begins. Hello, Colonel. My name's Steve, and I've got a problem, and maybe you can help. I've got a ton of cash. It's the year 2059, but for some reason, I can't get anyone to fly on an aeroplane. Maybe you can help. Well, yes, Steve. Uh, yes, I, I undoubtedly can help uh, there, because, uh, well, firstly, you've got two billion in the bank. There are very few problems that can't be solved with two billion in the bank. And, uh, and secondly, well, airports. I know a thing or two. Uh, so uh, let's ride on board this Concorde with zero passengers and get underway. Now, before we get underway, I just want to have a quick look around the map. Uh, it's, another, it's another standard generation map. Love it. And uh, as you can see, it is uh, is performing quite nicely. Uh, the uh, the runners and riders, in a financial sense, uh, we're making five hundred million a year. Very nice. Of which thirty odd million is profit. Mm -mm. Uh, so uh, so yeah, there is a ton of cash to play with. Uh, we've not got every town connected. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's, not, it's not a crime. And uh, and Steve is clearly clearly a fan of the roller coaster. There, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love, love a good roller coaster. I mean, that's that's tremendous stuff. That is uh, brilliant. Okay, so uh, yeah, aeroplanes. Mm. Yeah. Now, aeroplanes are difficult because uh, they are. Uh, they, they just don't work very well in transport fever. However, there is a way that you can make them work, or there are several ways that you can make them work, and uh, and we're going to try both of them. Uh, so, first up, we're going to set the flashy light flashing. And where should we do that? I think we'll do it out here. Now, it's not pronounced Louth. It's like Luth or, or, or Luth or, or something along those lines. So, I acknowledge that I'm, I'm pronun pronouncing it wrong uh, to begin with. Now, Louth has never been connected up to anything in the past, and I'm about to make it worse. There we go, there's the flashing light of, oh, we've been disconnected from the world. And that's critical. Uh, my, the way that I manage to make uh, most airlines work is, uh, is by making sure that what, uh, what they're connected to, yeah, I'm going to kill that as well. We're going to entirely isolate this bad boy. Um, yeah, even from whatever, you know, you know gen genteel uh, logging camp is going on up there. Uh, no, none shall pass. That's number one. If you can get from destination one to destination two by other means of transport, uh, the AI folk will quite happily do so. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll come back to this in a moment because obviously that's what we're, we're going to work on. Uh, problem number two is this, and it's, it's very, very perfectly illustrated here, is, uh, <laughs> and he's tried a solution that I suspect is very similar to one that I've tried in the past. Uh, so look, this is all air transfer stuff, right? So we've got one guy. I haven't even checked this before, but I, I can pretty much guarantee I know what it's doing. Uh, and then you've got another one that goes out that way as well. And you've got another one that goes this way. And you've got another one that goes this way, right? So what, what Steve's tried to do here is just kind of go, right, fine, fine, fine. No, 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 it's very simple. I'm going to drop you all at a flipping bus stop right outside the airport and you can get on a ruddy plane. And then they don't. And you kind of go, oh. Yeah, and, uh, and, and that's the second problem, is you have to build so far outside town that actually you're adding additional commute time uh, to people who could already be... I mean, let's say we jump on the train here. By the time you jump on a train or a bus at the same time, the train's already over here by the time your bus is three-quarters of the way up the road, and then you have to get off and walk, and then you go to the airport... I think, and I have no uh, no science to back this up, but I suspect it adds to the journey time in such a fashion that the speed bonus you get by using the plane is completely busted by the time you get round to using it. So this is, I mean, the thing is, this is exactly how airports work in the real world, is you don't have an airport, or well, very rarely do you have an airport in the middle of the city. It's always, you know, out in the middle of where they could get a whole bunch of land. Uh, so, uh, so therein lies lies another problem. Oh, I'm loving the amount of goods we've got going on there. Uh, right, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and tackle both problems. Firstly, the, that, uh, that people can reach their destination by other means, not from flipping louth they can't. And secondly, we're going to try and build an airport that is not... Uh, three quarters of a mile outside of town. How are we going to do that? Well, I've got two billion in the bank. Yeah, eat this. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, as mentioned, very few problems can't be resolved if you've got a couple of billion in the bank. Right, that is the city centre marker there. Where the, where, the, uh, where the town name is, is the city centre marker. Now, if I can get an airport in here, then run a few roads around the outside, we should be able to uh, persuade the AI to build around the outside of it again, and, uh, and then everything will work. Right, here we go. What are you? You're a medium. You're a large. Well, we'll try large to start with, and if it doesn't work, we'll, we'll switch back to medium. Uh, I may need to go. Uh, I may need to go hog wild on the terrain cannon, um, but uh, but that's okay. No, all of you lot, you might be in the way. Sorry. Yeah. Now you can move back in in a minute, uh, probably. Right. Let's have a look. Have we got anywhere this will fit? Uh, we're going to need a bit more zoom out here, I reckon. Right. And I mean, that's a, that's another issue that you're always going to have is the the terrain alignment collision. Uh, that you get from an airport is exhaustive, exhausting even, uh, just simply down to the, uh, the the footprint of flipping things got. No, I really want this. I really want the main road there to be connected up to the middle. So we're going to uh, we're going to do some smoothing here, and it's going to take me a minute or two. So I'll skip that so that you can see it happen. But we're going to bang it in about there, probably about here. Uh, the red area there showing what is what is directly afflicted or what is causing you the problems. Uh, the white area now. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll just take that to town. Max strength, full speed. Yes, indeed. There we go. That'll fit nicely. Uh, now that wasn't exactly cheap. I mean, I say it wasn't cheap. It was very expensive. Uh, if we look at the building costs so far, uh, eighty-six million. Uh, yeah, okay, that's about. That's about right. Uh, 39 million on bulldozing and uh, 86 million. Yeah, we're doing well. We're, we're, uh, we're getting it spent. Um, I ended up, rather than uh, playing with the terrain tool, I ended up using the medium-sized airport to flatten out big st sections of land and then moving it ever so slightly to flatten out some more. Uh, this is not really the, uh, the optimum way to get bang for your buck. Uh, but if you've got two billion in the bank, what else are you going to spend it on? Uh, so, uh, so there's that. I'm going to do a little bit of smoothing around the outside here. That's super duper. Yeah, lovely, 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 lovely. That will do nicely. Uh, and obviously, we can tidy the cliffs up a little bit as well, make them uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer. And I know uh, we looked at that uh, before I, I plunked this in here, and it did actually look quite flat. Whereas, in fact, uh, there was actually quite a lot of hills and what have you going on there right so we've got our uh, our starting airport we're going to bang some infrastructure in around here oh cranky old school flipping uh, street menu which is significantly <laughs> easier to use uh right okay let's uh, let's bang in some roads around the outside uh so that we can hopefully persuade the ai to uh, to build in that direction because the ai sometimes in train for fever it used to do it all the time uh, but in transport fever, maybe not quite so often, is uh, is if you bulldoze the heart of a city, as long as you don't take it all out, uh, the uh, the citizens will almost, all, well, used to, they used to almost always move straight back in again. So if you bulldozed a bunch of stuff, uh, you had to wait about a minute and, uh, and they'd all move straight back in, uh, which was brilliant because it basically meant you could reshape the middle of a town uh, without any issue whatsoever. That looks about right. Get rid of that bit. Uh, I, um, that that bit won't stand. There you go. Uh, right. So yes, that's that's not a bad place to start. I don't know why it's looking green there. Uh, let's carry on in a straight line here. Good. And then uh, and then we'll get another bit on here because I'm hoping that we can get people to live right in the sound corridor of the airport. And, uh, and in doing so, that should, uh, that should make uh, people commuting to the airport much more commonplace, which will mean that uh, we find it a lot easier to, uh, to build up some, uh, some traffic here. Well, that's, that's gone horribly. I mean, look at that. What a disgrace. That's disgusting. Like, right, no, back it up a bit. Yeah, no, it, looked, it looked fine from the angle I was doing, but uh, the reality, not fine. No, not fine at all. Uh, bang that straight back onto there. Yeah, right. Okay. This is all completely superfluous to the job at hand, of course. No, no, no. All right. Just snap onto there and be happy. Good. Uh, we'll slap another one across here. 
Yeah, yeah, you feel you feel slappy? I I feel very slappy. Well, bang another one in there, and then we'll do the other same the other side. And then, uh, then it's all about your bus routes and bus stops and tram. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm feeling in a tram kind of a place. We'll tram it up. Uh, we'll get trammed. Tram time. Uh, I, I, I'm desperately searching for some kind of tram-based pun there. Uh, I leave it to you there, commenter, to uh, to suggest what might have worked in that particular instance because I've had to move on. Uh, but yeah, why not? I, you know, we'll go with the uh, the, fo the fastest and most effective uh, form of public transport. We'll just wang that around the corner. No, no, we won't, because that corner was looking particularly odious. We'll do that instead. Yeah, it's a bit of a ramp, but who cares? And then, because I'm feeling optimistic, it's not going to happen. I mean, I could leave it running afterwards for three hours and see what uh, see what transpires. But uh, in all honesty, I don't think it's going to work. What's that then? Oh, sorry, yes, get the AI into a mood where it builds around this side. Go on, that'll work. Go on, stop being, stop being a lightweight. There you go. Whiz that across there as well. Everything's peachy. Now, we're going to invest heavy in trying to get this to develop. Uh, because if we... If we can get this to develop... If we can get this to develop... There you go. Right then, uh, then this all becomes this all becomes very very good, uh, pretty much immediately. Now I'm going to stick this road in. I'm going to try and keep it uh, in line with the uh, with the runway, because if we can get some build going on there, this should form a nice corridor uh, for the plane to be able to land. And if you manage to get your city up to a, a really large size, and you've got you know. Uh, skyscrapers and what have you you could make a nice scenic corridor for the plane to approach on and uh, an inexperienced pilots try and land on the road beautiful love it great stuff uh right okay now then let's uh, let's put in our public transport of course this is assuming this is going to work well yeah you have to assume it's going to work you're using all the tricks that you have in your trick of books and therefore you know you'd, you'd have to hope that it works now this one here is, is by far, this is the sexy tram stop, obviously. I mean, you know, that's that's the good looking, oh, it's all, it's, it's all a very strange shape. Uh, but it does mean that your, your commuters have to walk a little bit further. And we're trying to minimize the walk as much as possible. So we don't care. Uh, we'll tr we'll try that one anyway. And, uh, and all being well, things will work out for us. Uh, and then we're going to stick another one around here. We're going to stick another one around there. This, I mean, as mentioned, there is almost zero chance that this works, but I'm going to spend the money on it anyway. Uh, just purely because if it does work, I look like a complete genius. Uh, and if it doesn't work, I get to go, well, I said it wasn't going to work, and it didn't. So, uh, I, uh, what, what do you want from me here? All right, good. Yep, bit of that. And uh, whiz this along over here nicely, and then... Uh, one more bus stop actually do i want to do that no i want this one on a circuit and then we'll sling another one i'm going to use overlapping catchment as well i mean this is there's a lot of no-nos in here um but the uh, the the goal that i have been set is make it so that people are using an air an airline it is not uh make a profitable new town and therefore i'm just gonna i'm gonna hemorrhage cash at this in a, in a hope I can get an airline working. Right, let's uh, let's tram this lot up. I'm going to do the entire town. I know that that meets with the disapproval of, of rather a lot of you on a regular basis. But uh, personally, I like my tram drivers to be able to have the choice of uh, of where they go. Did I not electrify the station? I guess I I guess I have now. Yeah, no, that bit I didn't need to do, but I have done. So uh, there's that. Keep it coming. Yeah. All of that, yeah, yeah. All of this, marvellous. Some of that over there, a bit of this, terrific. Oh yeah, nothing like, uh, nothing like a montage, commented of, uh, of of tram electrification going on. That's flaming excitement and value for money. That is, because we're going to run, we're going to run multiple tram routes in town. Yeah, let let's do the lot. There you go. Anything left standing? Oh, loads. All right, okay. All right, keep going. Yeah, and that. Yeah. Good. Right. Are we there? Yeah, pretty much. I reckon we are. 
Okay, yeah, now that's, I mean, that's given this uh, airport the best fighting chance it's got uh, to uh, to pick up foot passengers. As you see, clicking on there, we've got the whole of downtown kind of, uh, hold on, kind of situated. Yeah, no, I found something. And uh, I'm going to need that, going to need this. And then we're going to go straight through there. Yep. Oh, yeah, I, I will bulldoze the whole of this town if I think it will help. And... Uh, Sometimes I'll bulldoze the whole of a town if I don't think it will help. Just simply because I'm feeling that way inclined. Uh, today I'm not feeling that way inclined. I'm doing it because I think it might prove to be beneficial to the overall scheme of things that we're working on here. Yeah, wang that through there. Good. You know what's lovely? Not having to worry about cash in the slightest. is absolutely beautiful. I can keep on doing this for another two... I haven't even, I haven't even broken the two billion mark yet. Oh, go on, at least try and have a nudge towards it being parallel. There you go. It's not perfectly parallel, but, you know, that's that's tricky to pull off and takes ages. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to spend ages. Right, there we go. How are we looking? No real change to how it was before. Right, let's bang up a couple of roots. Browns, hey, oh, how, how smashing. No, we're going to go for a pink root and we're going to go for a yellow root because they show up really well. Right, number one, it's going to do this. Two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, two, done. Uh, right, now that's that's an easy one. I, uh, I always do the figure eight route. It means you put more trams on there, but it means that you don't have to have two routes, one going clockwise, one going anti-clockwise. It's very lazy, uh, but it does seem to work. Uh, I'm going to give everything a CF abbreviation just purely so that I know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, Louth Commuter 1. And then uh, we'll do the other one. It's not Leith. No, that's an entirely different place. It might even be Louth. I might even be wrong about being wrong. Uh, down to here. Yes. And then out to there. And then back to there. And then back to here. And then back to there. And to here. Peachy. Right. There's a bit over here that could do with a bit more coverage later on if we manage to get any growth at all, but we'll, uh, we won't worry about that. Commuter, commuter, commuter two. Okay, now we're going to try a couple of routes out of here. Once I, once I get onto the route bit, I'm getting ahead of myself a bit here. I just need to buy up some tram. Uh, let's, uh, let's bang you in right in the middle of nowhere. Groovy. Uh, buy trams. What's the best thing we got? Cobra. Okay. All right. Well... How many stops have I got on this first one? 12, so that's six individual stops. Is it really? Uh, one, two, three, four, yes. Five, yes. Six. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you do? 43 miles per hour versus 37 miles per hour. Well, there's no competition. One, two, three, four, five, six. Set line, commuter one. And then we'll use the tiddler for commuter two. And we'll just stick four on there. One, two, three, four, set line, commuter two. Right, good. Now let's unpause, and I'm going to unpause with it at high speed, uh, just so we see if the AI, because we've got the right angle here, we'll see if the AI feels inclined towards rebuilding that which was just bulldozed. I'm not holding up too much hope that it will do. Oh, someone else without their vehicles on auto replace. Love it. Love it. I, hope I possibly ought to jump on that before we start getting inundated, but that's okay, because that's vehicle 205, which presumably means there's another 204 vehicles uh, ahead of that. There we go. We've got a bit of build coming in right next to the airport. There's some more. There's a bit more. This is good. And, uh, these are all in good places. Uh, another one happening there. Yeah. Any more? Not at the moment. Yeah, there's 206. Look, you see, it's, it's, we're going to have we're gonna have an invasion of vehicle pop-ups happening any moment. Now, nobody's going to use this the either of these commuter lines until there is somewhere to commute to. Everyone can reach everywhere on foot at the present time. So uh, so these are all just zipping around, costing me cash. And that's, well, it's not actually, it's costing Steve cash. And frankly, I don't know Steve that well, so I'm not that bothered. Um, right, now then. Number one is tempting to fling a plane out to Skelton in Cleveland. Uh, it's very, very close. But this is your, your closest kind of conurbation we've got here. So I'm going to stick, I am going to stick a cheeky route on there. I really don't think this will work because it's way too close, but there is no other way to achieve it. 
Skelton in Cleveland sidings. Well, you've got to call it an airport, otherwise people have got no chance. Come here. Claire's Skelton in, in Cleveland. Uh, oh, what, where would you go for? Sky Terminal. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to perk them up. The Louth Exchange. No, no. Louth, let's call it Luth. Um, um, to Luth. Uh, the Future Dome. Yeah. There we are. I mean, because advertising is everything, and therefore getting your brand right, all important. Uh, we will stick two planes on that because I don't think it's going to do anything, but this is all part of a larger scheme. Uh, uh, what do we think? Airbus or Concord? Airbus will do the job. Uh, right. And we want to... Well, hold on. Uh, called the, I, uh, I called the, the route Louth Future Dome. Luth. Luth Future Dome. Uh, so let's call this LTH2 Jib for Party Bot Skelton SKL. There you go. Right. And then we'll we'll rename this the uh, the Future Dome here. Uh, uh, Luth uh, Future Dome. I, I, I'm gambling on it being Luth, you know. Right. Okay. Good. That's that. Right. Okay. Is it going to accomplish anything? Don't know. Don't care. We're moving on. Because next, we're going to build another one of these down the other end of the map. And, uh, oh, hold on. No, I want to do one more route first. And it's going to be here. Horwich. Rhymes with Norwich. Um, okay, fine. Yeah, give me that. What do we call this airport? Horwich East. Uh, if I turn the map the other way around, I guess you could call it Horwich East. But it's not. It's currently West. Right, okay, there's the Luth Thunderdome, and uh, we'll go with, uh, oh, well, this is going to be uh, LTH2 uh, Hoar. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, buy aircraft. We'll put 320s on this as well, and that's a little bit further away, so we'll stick four of them on there. Because uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we can build some demand. This is more aircraft than you need. One aircraft will do the job, and we've already got a passenger waiting. This isn't a bad sign. How many passengers? Three. Three people want to go to Skelton. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I mean, it's right next door. I mean, what's the, what's the actual population of this place? Just while we're here. Population 108. <laughs> All right, we're not really going to fill out anything here in the slightest. Although, I've got a cunning idea. Right, we'll do that in a minute. Right, let's leave that going. I doubt we'll get anybody coming back the other way, but you never know. Now then, the next one is going to be the crit. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Should we do the next one as well? Do we want to do this one? We could do this one. Or we could leave that one alone. Are we going to do this one? Ooh, indecision time. Yeah, I think we might do. I think, I think we might do. Hold on, hold on, no, hold, no. We'll leave, we'll leave Shrewsbury alone, um, and we'll move down to the deep end of the map. Now we've got a, we've got a network here. We've got some trains going on. They all seem to be goods oriented. Are you goods? Yes, you are. If I were to slow the game down, we'd be able to judge this slightly more uh, appropriately. Uh, but we do have a passenger line here. Right, where are you heading? Uh, we've got uh, Whittlesea, Aldershot, Hoddleston, uh, Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury. All right, here's Hodsden. Okay, now, what I want to do is I now want to... I, I want to cut this off from the rest of the map, if I can do. So, basically, if I can isolate the uh, the towns that we've got over here and turn them into their own network, then that could work out nicely. I might break a couple of lines just to make this happen. Uh, you might break too many lines. It's not that I'm worried about the money. It's just I don't want to spend, you know, half an hour killing off lines that should be working just fine. Um, yeah, see, this is the problem here. Uh, Hoddleston and Shrewsbury. Where, where else do you go? Give me something nice and bright and easy to see. Uh, yellow. Are you a point-to-point -point service? Oh, I see. And you go to the airport. Ah, cunning. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I can I can see that. All right, in which case, we can we can slaughter this and nobody's going to mind. Uh, Hoddlesden to Shrewsbury. Ding, 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 ding. Begins with an H. Yes, it does. 
And if it needs a bam, beep, bam, and there's only one train on it, so much the better. Get sold. And get deleted. And then uh, declare quarantine. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, right. Okay, that's that sealed off. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna seal off any other roads I happen to come across. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's gonna solve everything. That's goods by the looks of it, uh, which is fine. You are allowed to live. Uh, keep going. Uh, what about this road here? You've already you've already segregated that one. Yeah. What's uh, what's going over here? This looks like it might be passengery. Is that a passenger line there? It looks looks like it could well be. Okay, what are, what have we got going? Oh, crikey, you go everywhere. All right, all right, okay, all right, fine. Um, we'll just see all the shot. It's fine. You go to Shrewsbury. That's okay. Uh, well, I say that. I say that. It's uh, no. We're going to we're going to separate you from the rest of the world. Oh, you're going to break so many passenger lines. All right, we'll chance it. We'll chance it with just the one broken at the moment however we will get rid of this bit of road as well the thing's already flashing it's not like it's going to flash anymore or it might well hold on what have i broken did it do it train 59 can't find where it's going electrically whittles to whittles to shrewsbury i haven't broken anything there yet have i oh maybe it's a loop maybe there's a loop going on ah hit the hammer see if it works no it's broken okay well, I've got an alternate solution. It's all good. Uh, Whittlestead to Shrewsbury Express. Oh, flipping heck, that's a, that's a, that's a, well, it's losing a flipping handful of cash as it is. Uh, go get sold. There you go. And then uh, get that line deleted as well. Yeah, that's running a T, uh, TFV. I didn't even look to see what was making money. Let's have a look. Uh, right, who's losing money? Oh, there's a, TGVs are losing cash like there's no tomorrow because they always flipping do. Uh, then you've got goods trains losing cash, which is unusual. In fact, you've got a lot of stuff that's that's burning through the cash here. Uh, but presumably, the good news is pretty good. Yeah, you see, you've got quite a lot of good news here as well. So your good news is offsetting your bad news, but there's, there's profit to be made everywhere here. Okay, right. Anybody else griping? No, not too much. Okay, right. We just want to make sure we've got as much as much segregation as possible. And then we'll then we'll crack on. All right, I've done a little bit, and it's largely this side that I've now isolated. Thank you. So we're now going to stick in another airport here. Around here would be ideal because this is a nice big town. And look at all of these lovely people, lovely passengering their way around. And we've got a we've got a passenger rail station here as well. I don't think anybody's necessarily using it anymore. Oh, no, you can still get to uh, Whittlesea and, and Hodsden. This is Hodsden. You can still get to Whittlesea. Well, that's lovely. Um, right. Let's just change up everything. Where's the town centre? Town centre's here. What is over here that's critical? Some of it, maybe. A bit of it. Yeah, right. Okay, interface with the pause button. Activate rampant destruction oh yeah oh yeah you bet i'm destroying it yeah oh it's, it's all doomed you're all doomed all of you yep don't need it ah kill it that's it get out of my flipping sight oh kill a bus stop oh no i'm gonna have to figure out yeah oh no i've destroyed a main connection oh no oh that's three million oh whatever there you go i'll fix it in a minute there you go now hopefully uh what Oh, you ruddy clown. Um, okay. Ah, it's fine. We'll get over it. Uh, you head down there. Like that. Good. And then we'll push you along. Clear off. Right. Uh, let's murder all this as well. Great. Ah, oh, this is... It's looking so much better already. Can we wang this straight in, or am I going to need to do some jiggery-pokery again? Oh, no. Wanging straight in looks like it might be viable. Uh, let's get rid of this bit of road here so I've got a bit more wiggle room. And... No, I don't care about buildings being destroyed. You should know that by now. What do we think? Do we like it? I think we do. Right, good. Uh, so, Hoddlesden. 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 Just, uh, just got itself on the map there. Because we've planted right on town centre. 
uh, because I'm I'm basically just evil. Uh, Park Road, no, that's not what we're looking for. We want this. No, you see, you, I've put this, this is an airport, right? And you seem to be operating under the impression that you're a bus stop. Not quite the same thing. Although, arguably, buses are more comfortable than planes. Uh, right, okay, let's, uh, let's get to work on this. This can all work. Yeah, I know, I've got a lot of smoothing gun that's doing it. In fact, this lot is all ugly. Yeah, no, it's progress. Clear off. Yeah, yeah, and you. Yeah, and your little dog too. There you go, that's better. Right, now then. Uh, we'll go, actually, we'll give it some large street. We're going to turn this into a flaming metropolis. Now, we've only partially uh, locked this off from uh, from other areas of the map because if you were to if you were to head that away, uh, it is still possible to visit the other map from there. But my goodness me, it's a long way. So hopefully, we can provide a service by air that means that people will go. No, I'm not driving all that way. Get knotted. I'm going to take a plane. Basically, the same principle which has led to uh, the United States of America uh, having no trains anymore because everybody uses planes to get everywhere. Uh, instead of going like, it's going to take me 36 hours on the train. Yeah, don't think so, bruv. Uh, I'm going to take a plane. Thank you very much. I'll be there in three hours. Uh, it's going to cost me next to nothing. And, uh, and I don't care how long I have to sit on the tarmac. I tell you, you, you guys put up with a lot of rubbish. Uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't have people quite happy to sit up, put up with the kind of nonsense you have to tolerate on domestic flights here in the Europe. No, especially not in France. Uh, if there's one thing to know about France, they don't put up put up with anything. Uh, you change the channel while they're watching their favourite show and they're on strike and setting fire to things. Um, no, France, they they don't put up with anything. And uh, they arguably, they're arguably, arguably, yeah, there's a lesson for us all there. Be more French. Don't tolerate anything. Uh, no, nah, I'm on strike now. Ha uh, ha ha. And what have you. Right, I'm going to build something ugly around here. Just because I feel like it. Because it, it did look like we... I mean, look, what? One level crossing to join one side of town to the other? No, 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 Steve. That dog will not hunt. Uh, you, you're going to need to... Uh, you're going to need to connect it up in a few places. So that, uh, so that people feel welcome. Anyway, these people aren't welcome. I'm bulldozing it because I want to put a bridge in. Yep. They'll be back. Uh, it's, this is about to become a really desirable area. Uh, house prices will have dropped ever so slightly for a moment. But uh, you can bet that they'll rock it back up again. Uh, as soon as I'm done with my, uh, with my masterpiece here. Now, I'm, I'm being quick and dirty with this. I don't know if you spotted that or not. I am, though. Um, what's your problem? Have we got different altitudes of, uh, of landscape going on? That should fit by absolutely chuffing miles. Go on. They, ah, there we go. You see, that's, that's going to be a bit more compliant. Now, that's quite an ugly bridge I built there. But, uh, but, you know, you get the idea. And obviously, when I give your save game back to you, you can... Uh, you know, you can you can tootle with it to your heart's content. If tootling is a thing that you like doing. If a heart is a thing you have. I suspect you probably do have one. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having this conversation now. Uh, right. Yeah, well, wind that round the corner. Bang it up onto there. Right. How's that looking? Right. What I'm, what I'm looking for here is I'm looking to see how much space there is. Because you, you'll end up with, uh, with AI-built buildings going all the way on the bits of road it can get to, and then not. So we're going to want a tiny little street here. Will I put tram track on it? I might as well. I'm going to anyway. I shouldn't. If, I, if I'm putting a tram route together here that requires the use of this tiny little road, then I've really got something wrong. No, uh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about terrain alignment collision. You know, bulldoze it. Spend money to accomplish what we need to. There you go. That looks good. And how's that? All right, so we'll get some good build-up coming around there. We'll get a bit in here. That's fine. I'm going to need to fix your commuter route, which was working perfectly, has to be said. Probably better than any of mine have ever done, ever. Uh, you know, I could have studied that and learned a thing or two, but I'm not going to. One more in there. That looks about, uh, about peachy. 
cool. Right, okay, next up, make it look less horrendous. Uh, just a bit of this. Uh, I could go to town with the tree gun, but I'll do that after I've uh, after I've figured out my flight paths. Yeah, some of that going on. We need another road in here. Going over the top of the tunnel. And there we go. Now, I've kicked out probably 200 people there, maybe a little bit more. So if we can get 200 people moving back in again... Um, then uh, if they were to scatter themselves liberally around the airport, that would be absolutely delightful. But you're never entirely sure where they're going to go. Uh, you would think that they might be inclined towards building close to where they were previously. But then again, once bitten, twice shy, they might go, no, why would, why would we build right next to where we were previously? Uh, clearly, that was somewhere that uh, has special significance. Maybe it's an ancient Indian burial ground or some such, because something really woeful befell our uh, our beautiful family home. It's, I, they say woeful. I, I call it progress. Bang. Yep. There is no building that is safe. Uh, right, next up, tram it a lot, because uh, we like a tram. And I cannot lie. That's all disconnected. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Right, let's, uh, let's tram it around here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 all of that. Plenty of this too. That's all good. And then we will uh, we will study the, uh, the the commuter routes that you had going. I'll bang in a couple more stops. Everybody will stop complaining. Well, I say everybody. All the people wanting to get to the next town by road, they're still going to complain, and uh, I'm going to ignore them. Uh, if you haven't already put a post-it note over the warning light at the top of the screen, it's a really good time to do so if that kind of thing bugs you. And you're done. Yeah? Yep, we're done. Right, now, we, we are going to need another connection here to uh, to get the freight stuff going as the autosave ticks along there a little bit and finishes ticking along there a little bit. Uh, so we'll go back to road. We'll get some nice, large country action. We'll bulldoze all of that. Not because there's anything... Oh, you've done it again, you plonker. Uh, not because there's anything wrong with it. Uh, purely because uh, I want the road to be straight when I'm done. What do you mean construction's not possible? You were constructed but m but moments ago. Do you need something a little a little fatter? Uh, try it again. There you are. I see that's all working now. Beautiful. Good. Bulldoze it. Go on, get out of the way, truck. I've got the future to attend to, and I intend to attend to it. Uh, right, from about there? No. From, from about here. Yeah. And then bring you round onto... No, let's let's take you round onto Airport Road. That looks good. And we'll build an embankment on that as well. Because it's, uh, it's, it's far more appealing to do it that way. Uh, we'll also bring that round and connect that onto there as well. We'll turn this into some kind of mega junction kind of deal. In fact, because there's a, there is a slim chance we get some build up here, I'm going to... Yeah. There you go. That's part of the city now. Everybody's happy. Uh, we'll also tram that thing one time, two times. Good. Okay. Anything else I need to do? We've got one broken thing, and that's going to be uh, the Hoddesdon tram. Oh, it's even got a cutesy poo name. Um, it goes part road. That's that's a yeah. It is. All right. It's all right. Look. Hey, you, you're fine. You're fine. You're also going to have a buddy pretty soon. Right. We need a tram station right next to the airport. You lot, start quaking. Uh, in fact, stop quaking. I'm going. Yeah. Now, you might, at this point, be going, oh, this is just wanton destruction with absolutely no purpose behind it. They're going to go, well, the, the destruction may well be wanton. However, uh, there is definitely purpose behind it. Uh, that's uh, that's not right. That's, uh, yeah, that hasn't worked either. All right, fling it down there. All right, and then come up with some kind of crazy flipping all over the joint connection come on it's not that complicated what's your problem right one times tram stop por favor si vous play uh, we'll go with the uh, the large tram slash bus station this time around we'll stick electrified thingamajig on there and boss you in here like that yeah that looks all right okay and then where else have we got that i haven't killed yet 
Got one there. That's all right. That's uh, that's town centre. Oh, we got one next to the next to the railway station. I'll tell you something else. If I can squeak in a little bit of uh, skinny street here, I will do. Squeak in. All right, and then we'll run that out there because we might get just a little bit more build there. Uh, you never know your luck. Also, we can probably do something similar there as well. I don't really want to bulldoze that. Never mind. Uh, right, keep going. Yeah, parallel with the tram, with the train track, all the way up to there, and everybody's happy, apart from all the people who are now homeless. But they'll be they'll be rehoused pretty quickly, and then everything will be groovy. Yeah, do a bit of that. Cool. Nice. Uh, can we get you onto there? I think we can. Yes, we can. All right. No, I see. Look, this is this has got some very real opportunities going on now. This is a, a line, a line for the future. Right, the Hoddesdon tram. Let's uh, let's fling out a few more stops and then uh, and then get uh, get it all connected up. We should have a second street connection on this station, you know. Uh, right, you lot. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, but I guarantee you're not going to you're not going to accept a second street connection. We're trying to make something successful here. Yep. Apply. Thank you. Right. I was just cutting out the middleman. They were just going to complain. And uh, and then I was going to, you know, they'd all be sad. We'd all be sad. Everybody would be sad. They'd be, you know, wailing and, and all of that kind of business. Of course, I've made it doubly difficult for myself now to get build over here because uh, the AI likes to build where there's already stuff. Uh, but uh, you know, this is the this is the price that has to be paid. Anyway, when when Hoddesdon here is is connected up to Luth in a dramatic fashion, it's going to be it's going to be so cheerful about everything. Uh, right, okay, we'll stick another stop down there. Uh, this looks good. I'm feeling a, I'm feeling a perimeter route here. Uh, about there, yep, that looks nice. And uh, we'll stick another one here. Same kind of idea. Again, not fabulously optimistic that it will work. But if it does, I look very clever indeed. Uh, keep going. Oh, we might be able to get away with one route here, you know. No, not anymore, you can't. Not unless you go under there and then round and then up to here. No, okay. Well, in which case, we'll turn that into, into a route too. Um, yeah, all right. Okay, right, so, number one, that, there, brown, no, that's not going to show up, red, yeah, this one, yeah, that, a spot of this, keep it going, so business as usual, we fling this both ways, and then, uh, yep, got that up to here, and then back again, like that, now, that's going to need probably several more trams than it's currently sporting, but that's uh, that's okay, because uh, they you know what's better than some trams, tons of trams. Uh, right, what do you got on there at night? Two. Yeah. Right, we're going to stick auto replace on because uh, you know, yep, upgrade them now. I don't know. I, I'm, I wasn't entirely sure whether we'd uh, got the right model there. I didn't. I didn't look for more than half a second. Uh, stick a tram depot down. Well, actually, let's put it where the civilians currently aren't. Let's bang it down there. All right. Yep. Go. Buy trams. How many? That should probably do it. Two more. There you go. Ten. Set line. Hodgson tram. Go, go, go. Activate. Right. Now then, the uh, the second one that we're going to want to do is, uh, is going to run. Ah, so we're going to need to connect up to the airport to make this work. So we're going to want a combined tram route. So... Something like one. Yeah. All right, you didn't think that through. Uh, one. Two. Rubbish. Yeah, I know. Uh, three. Yeah, four. Five. Six. Five. Okay, all right, something like that. Okay, well, it'll either work or it won't. Uh, here we go. One. Yep. Two. No. Get rid of that. Uh, two would be that one. Yes. And then this one. 
Okay, I don't like that it comes back. It doesn't come back on itself too far, but it, uh, it still comes back on itself a little bit. Uh, three, and then that one, and then back to there, and then back to here. And, oh, we didn't stop there. Would we want to? Well, we will do, we will do going one way. Then that, then this, then you, and then back to Grange Road. Uh, Grange Road, yep, yep, that looks good. Right, so this is going to be CF uh, Hod Des Don Tram 2. Okay, now oh, I've finally broken through the uh, the 1 billion mark, the, the 2 billion mark. Uh, but next, next job is going to be, we're going to have two airlines running out of here. Uh, the first of which is going to go from Park Road. It's not, it's not Park Road. No, it's, it's got to have a better name than that. Um, uh, hard as done. Uh, Gerbidule sub orbital. Yeah, because <laughs> why not? Uh, right, so we go from Hodderson Suborbital, and we will send this one. Now we might get we might get a bite on there. And here's I mean the other thing here is that there's also a very real chance that in powering up some of these little short hop routes. No, that's too close. Uh, we also energize the other routes that are going in and out of that particular location. There we go uh, to Horwich East. So this is going to be HOD2 and HOR. Now, we already know that there's an interchange uh, there that will take them the rest of the way to Louth. Uh, do we want to do that? No, I'm changing my plea. You sure? Yeah, I think uh, I think you've done goofed here, friend. Uh, all right, no. All right, line one, you're not a thing anymore. Horwich East, you're not connected either. We'll go with one line here and see if it works. And that's going to be all the way across the map. And we're going to give them a flipping Concord to make it happen. Uh, yeah, there you go. Hoddesdon suborbital to the Luth Future Dome. Who wouldn't want to, to ride on that? Uh, what did I call this? LTH. Doesn't seem right, but I think it is. Uh, right, okay. So now we'll bang some planes on that. And uh, and then I'm going to let it run for half an hour while uh, while I go and do the washing up. I'll come back and uh, I mean I can't go bankrupt in that level of time. Uh, how many do you want on there? Let's go four. You think? Yeah. Okay. Right. So hod luth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, activate. All right, that's that activate. Kill off that line that you didn't use because that's just that's just frankly sloppy. Uh, kill it. There we go. Right, planes. Aha. Good. All right, I'm gonna go do the washing up. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I have let some time pass, and uh, is it a roaring success? No. Um, is it getting there? Not really. Is it going to get there? Yes. Given enough time, it will undoubtedly get to where it needs to be. Now, I've replaced basically all of the... So here is all the airports now. And uh, I've, I have replaced every service uh, that was running with all new services. And everything either uh, terminates in, uh, in Hodsdon, uh, which is over here, uh, or, it, uh, or it terminates in Luth which terminates here. Now, what I've not done is I've not optimized, uh, optimized those lines at all. So I haven't thought through the uh, what should connect to what in order to make it work better, but it is starting to pick up a little bit. And where you can see that better, I mean, you can see you've got double digit passengers waiting here and here, and you've got to match the, the frequency of flight to the uh, to the number of passengers waiting because your goal is pack out the aircraft and uh, and the uh, the business will come. So the other thing that I did is I made all of the aircraft A320s, uh, which seems to actually have, have spurred things into life. Now, if we look at Luth here, I'm going to shut these down for a moment. Uh, if we uh, if we examine Luth, you'll see we have actually got some bold individuals who've uh, who've decided to set up shop around the the far end of uh, the airport 
good for them. Uh, you'll see they've built into the gully here next to the airport. They've done the same the other side. They've they've also started stretching out this way, which is a bit of a shame. Um, if I'd anticipated that, a bit of train track around the outside would have penned them in quite nicely. The biggie, though, is when we started out, it had a population of 108. It now has 271. Now, for the year 2072, 271, not that big a population, I'll be honest. Uh, it's also not getting any freight at all, which is going to hold back its, its ongoing development. But, you know, three little people waiting, it's not a bad sign. The most popular route, bizarrely, is the one that is right next door. And maybe that's not bizarre. Maybe that is actually the, the way to go, is it's just a short route that, you, that is inaccessible by any other means. Um, Skelton itself, the, uh, the airport isn't really picking up. Oh, I meant to show you a graph. Hold on, there's a, there's a graph up here that we should look at to go. Yeah, yeah, you see, it's definitely going the right way. So if we look at the charts here, uh, you'll see... Uh, the green line being passengers loaded, the red line being passengers unloaded. It's going the right way. We've got lots more passengers coming in now as as Luth becomes uh, that much more desirable to uh, to incoming passengers. I mean, it wasn't until what eight years ago, something like that, that the first passenger actually arrived. So it picks up very slowly. And that's really the, the big message with aircraft is, uh, is the best time to build your airport is 20 years ago. Uh, the second best time is today, because that will, you know, eventually get you going places. But it takes a long time to bed in. And, uh, and I mean, the other benefit you get, of course, is that as the town grows, as the city grows, it gradually surrounds the airport uh, which makes the acquisition of passengers that much more straightforward. On which note, uh, Hodsden has also started to uh, embrace the uh, the bold new future uh, that I have painted for it. As you can see, we've got a ton of passengers waiting here, but that's uh, that's largely because of the station. Um, there are a ton of people now wanting to escape by train, uh, far more than previously. And then, but wait, what's this? Uh, yes, I built another station. Uh, I noticed, poking around, that there was a, uh, a bus route that was called Stagecoach. It was called the Hodsden and uh, Briarfield Stagecoach, leading me to believe that it hadn't really been touched since the inception of the game. So I've replaced that uh, with some dual stocks here, and that's doing okay. Not quite got enough passengers yet to break even, although this year looks reasonably promising. Um... Again, it's still bedding in. Uh, I was running four trains on there. I cut that back to three, and that's helped. As you can see, the green bar there is where I've, I've cut it back to three. Uh, so we're not uh, uh, we're not cannibalizing passengers so much. Um, no one's built around the far side here. That's, that's unfortunate. But if we have a look at the charts again... Now, th this is where it thought it was the bus stop that I'd replaced... Um, but the trend is pretty much the same anyway, is it's gradually picking up. And that's the thing, is it's going to take a while. Anyway, I'll show you where the rest of this track goes. Uh, we zip up here, and because you don't want to do passengers that just go point to point, you're never going to make money that way, uh, we actually then continue beyond Briarfield, which I'd, I'd want to rethink the... Uh, the, the second side of the station there a little bit, but I literally it was it was probably the fastest li uh, line that I've ever built. Um, and then you head up into Wing Canton, which has never been properly looked after. So uh, I stuck a quick commuter route in there as well to get a few more things moving. And it's you know it's it's getting there. So in summary, is it easy to put in air lines that are actually going to pay off? No, it really, really isn't. And you, I mean, you might think that people will want to use the uh, uh, the Concorde the second it's available. They don't. They really don't. Uh, go for th go for small stuff first and try and pack them out. If as soon as you can get people waiting to be picked up, then you can really get places. So there's that. This is our long distance flight. So Hodgson to Luth. Uh, one person waiting. Hodsden to Shrewsbury, however, and Shrewsbury is just literally the other side of this hill. Uh, 14 people waiting. So the distance they're prepared to commute is about the same as, as they would by train. Um, but, uh, you know, even with 14 passengers on board, which is, it's under half... 
But, you know, we just made a profit this year, but we'll burn that again in no time flat. Uh, by, uh, there you go. See, there you're in debt again. It's costing two million quid a year to run this plane. And we made 800 grand last year. Okay, well, that's, you know, that's progress of a sort, but it's it's not progressing of a sort fast enough. Uh, if we just have a quick look at the overall Profitron here, uh, you'll see that uh, when we sell planes, as I am one to do, uh, you know, we made 64 million there. Uh, several auto replacers are on, but let's have a look at the, the delta between income and outgoing. Uh, this is where I sold off. The, uh, the additional trains, which is why the, the, the income dropped a bit. But when we started, uh, uh, revenue was at just over a million. It's now at five million and it's creeping in the right direction. But the running costs are just astronomical at 20, 20 odd million that we're chucking out the window. So I've managed to get the return on investment a little bit better, but it's got a long way to go. Uh, overall population is going up and actually that's worth looking at as well is if we call up the town population here you'll see there's there's where I got involved and since then it's shot back up um, and that's that's all part and parcel of just additional connections makes things shoot back up so will this air network work yes eventually uh, it would have worked better if it had been started in the uh, in the early 20th century uh, because, you know, that allows things to, to build around the outside of it. If we look at Luth here, uh, look at the charts 274 now. Uh, you can see where I got involved. And then Wallop, we're, uh, we're, we're up quite significantly now. Actually, the resolution is such you probably can't make that out. But look, line goes up a bit. Mmm. Anyway, there you go. Uh, is it a success? Well, I spent what? 450 500 million on uh, on whipping this around a little bit uh the the overall line not i didn't look at the delta when i came down to it uh what did we do last year 529 in versus running costs of 526 what where have i blown me money yeah our running our income was down a lot uh we have been rocking uh 500 plus that's a more typical year uh, 570 so that was a 50 million profit year uh, that one still some tweaks to be done here anyway thanks for the opportunity to give this one a spin steve sorry i've not made it work immediately but it will give it time and uh be, you know hang outside your airport for a bit uh the next step that i would do would be a rail connection to market deeping never been connected before and therefore you, you'll get a bit more passenger action on the go there you will cannibalize some of your air for uh, air f passenger for a little while uh, because they'll go to market deeping to get whatever it is that they crave uh, but it will pick up over time anyway i've been colonel Faye. thank you very much for watching and uh i'll i'll break something else soon enough cheerio hey colonel i hear you say uh you've not actually fixed it have you now i gotta go well no but i have uh it's not going to be fixed for 20 years, 30 years, something like that. It's not going to get to the point where it's actually generating money for, for quite a long time. And the reason for that is that the best time to actually build an airport in the game is the second they become available. Uh, when I got this game, uh, this save game out from Steve, uh, he was basically running one, two passengers per flight. Now, if you think back to the dawn of flight in the game, one or two passengers is actually pretty reasonable, um, and you can make you can make good money off one or two passengers, and uh, and just like trains, it takes time to percolate through. Uh, airports are made all the more difficult by the fact that they're almost always out of town, and uh, and they need a massive amount of space bulldozing for them in the first place. So the perfect time to build an airport is when they first become available, because that's when your towns are smallest and uh, and you actually have a chance to get them get them sunk in there. You also cannibalise every air route ever if you've got nice fast trains, and that's the other thing you don't have early in the age of flight. So as time goes on, when when the little AI dudes get their uh, get their roots embedded and they go no I use a, f a flight for this one well then they they give trains less of a less of a look in um, but uh, but no starting trains in the 21st century uh, starting trains planes, starting planes 
in the 21st century is really difficult and uh, and you are going to have to spend a huge amount of money as i've just done in order to give yourself a fighting chance this one will pay off eventually um uh, will it be worth using concord at any point maybe by the year 2300 i don't know anyway very grateful to steve to, for sending this one through lots of fun uh, just destroying the entire area. Coming in with a two billion bank balance is always good for a giggle. Anyway, if you'd like me to wreck your save game, uh, you can find the details in the description below of how you can submit it, um, and uh, and I'll give it a give it a once over. Have you got a problem? Do you just want me to tear it up? I mean, you know, I'm up for just about anything because well, there's a price tag attached to it. So th there you go.